I'm Wayne Visser and I'm Director of CSR International and I'm here today in Mexico City uh, with Claudia Nunez Beridi who is the Director of Social Commitment at the University of Ana Anahuac uh, in Mexico City. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm aware that uh, one of the things you do is run a very inspiring program here called Impulse. Um, can you tell us about the program? The program of leadership in social commitment is about to research uh, in our students the skills of the, the, the leadership students and we take them and we uh, give to them a plan, a curricular plan mm -hmm. especially um, about the, the social commitment by example, uh, Anahuac leadership the second plan is, uh, or the second subject is uh, projects, social projects, you know, develop of, of social programs. Mm -hmm. Además, we also, we also uh, work with the students in, in communities, in, in communities in poverty. Mm -hmm. uh, he, can, he can do in um, practice mm -hmm. that they will see in a class. Mm -hmm. We work in a medicine, I don't know how to say brigadas medicas. Medical brigades. Medical brigades, mm -hmm. uh, low brigades, mm -hmm. nutritional brigades, we build in houses. Uh, but the most important thing is we, uh, we uh, take uh, our students and give us to a, a deeper formation, human formation, ethical formation, Formation in values mm -hmm. is the, the, the most important thing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when they go into the university to, to their jobs, they have the responsibility to, to share mm -hmm. these this known uh, these concepts mm -hmm. to the other people. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things about the program that's interesting is it's undergraduate students and it's from different disciplines. Yeah, they're not all studying the same degree. Uh, yeah, it's 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 very interesting. We have uh, we have in a program um, medicine, mathematics, uh, business, because the the pluralism mm -hmm. or variety mm -hmm. I don't know how mm -hmm. to say it uh, enriquece enrich. enrich the the knowledge of the, the, of, the of the students. Mm. They have uh, because his disciplines mm -hmm. they have a. a, a Many, many personalities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the different disciplines give to the to the projects different mm -hmm. uh, points of view, mm -hmm. and this is very valuable. Mm. So let's take a practical example. I'm. I was uh, hearing earlier about one project where the students actually build uh, build a house. So tell me about this. It's a very interesting project. In four days. We choose five families in poverty, and in five, four days or three days and a half, twenty students building a house, building in this research the the walls, mm -hmm. is the, also uh, pass a, a little time with the family. Mm -hmm. Is this very very enrichment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have one construction in a semester and participating in 120 hundred students mm -hmm. at the semester and we have a list to to the students to wait to uh, a one place in this in this project. Mm -hmm. It's very very formative, very hard. Mm -hmm. It's a physical physical challenge, mm. challenge. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the, the students love it. Yeah. Now, um, last question. I'm aware that uh, not all students can be part of this program. You select uh, uh, maybe 150 students or a, a small group. Um, my question is, what is it about, uh, what do you think you're giving them as future leaders through this experience? What will make them different leaders? This is a, the, a, a small program. We have 100, 100. Mm -hmm. 100 students. I think that this is a, this is students is different to the others. 
because they had the, the spirit, the sensibility mm -hmm. to see the poverty, to see the needs of the country, to see the, to see the, I don't know, the, the suffering, mm -hmm. and they can suffering with them. Mm -hmm. We can be, he, they understand the, necess, the needs mm -hmm. of that people and working on it. This is the, the, the plus, I yeah, think. Yeah. Well, having met some of the students, it gives me also hope for the future. So uh, keep up the good work. Thank you for sharing with us today. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>